Tracking pheasants is laborious and hard. Researchers rise before dawn to get to the study area at first light. Holding radio receivers, they track the signals emitted from the transmitters on the birds' backs. From the pitch, strength, and pulse rate of the pips made by the receiver, they can determine where the pheasant is and where it is going. Using triangulation, they can quickly and accurately locate their target bird. Through their painstaking efforts, researchers now have information about the activity range and time budget of the bird. For Taiwan's birds, breeding season starts from February and March each year. In the tall pampas grass, yellow-bellied prinias sing their hearts out, and water hens form pairs beside marshy ponds. Love is in the air. Male ring-necked pheasants begin patrolling their territory with shrill voices and puffed-out chests. All male intruders are chased off immediately, mostly voluntarily and without a fuss. As well as all the territorial bluff and bluster, tidbitting males also cluck softly to females, calling them to share food. Males and females that form breeding pairs stick closely together. The male vigilantly guards his hen from other males and protects her while she eats. As the pressure to breed and pass on genes increases, the competition between males becomes red hot. Cockfights break out between not just two males, but sometimes three or even four. Scores are not settled easily, and fights to defend territory and mate get fiercer and fiercer. Look closely at the feet of these males whose fight takes them up into the air in a fury of wings, feathers, and claws and you'll see that this is where the spurs on their heels come into their own. Pecking and scratching, the male with the longest, sharpest spurs usually wins. Gradually, the testosterone-fueled bouts diminish and the tough males start showing their softer, gentler side. He flirts, bobbing and tilting his body to show off his brilliant feathers, circling his mate in a ritual mating dance. In the end, the female accepts his advances and the two birds mate. Male Formosan ring-necked pheasants usually have more than one consort. After coupling, the females find a safe place on their own to build a nest and lay their eggs. The job of hatching and rearing chicks is shouldered entirely by the females. The happy-go-lucky male has nothing more to do with his family. This female bears a transmitter on her back. As she mated, built her nest, and laid her eggs, researchers were able to study the previously unknown breeding activities of her species. Females incubate two clutches of eggs a year. Each nest contains between seven and 12 eggs. They take around 25 days to hatch. 
As she sits on her clutch, every so often, she gently turns her eggs over to ensure that they receive her body warmth evenly and increase the chance of hatching. The nesting hen blends inconspicuously into her environment. She is well camouflaged by her coat of dull browns, which hides her from predators. The northwesterly monsoon brings some respite to the heat of the early summer afternoon. The hen sits out the rain, protecting her eggs from the wet. After the storm, she shakes the pearls of rain from her feathers and the various animals emerge again. A common rat snake slithers out in search of food. Ring-necked pheasant's eggs make a good meal for him. The snake stealthily approaches its target. It raises its head and with a hiss strikes like an arrow at the hen on her nest. Although snakes are formidable opponents, the mother pheasant fights back with beak and claw. Her instincts tell her to protect her offspring, and she does this well. After incubating her eggs for many days and nights, the hen can no longer resist hunger. She gets up and leaves the nest for a moment to find food. 